Phlebitis is a word that we use medically to mean uh, inflammation of the veins. It comes from two classical words, phleb meaning vein and itis meaning inflammation. The trouble with phlebitis is it's a very overused term and many people, not only in the medical profession but also in general public, use the word phlebitis to mean any problem with the leg. So once they have a little bit of pain in the leg or there's some brown stains or anything at all going on, maybe a bit of pain in the calf, quite often they say, oh, I've got phlebitis. The difficulty is medically, it's actually got quite a precise definition. And over the last few years, we've found that really you need to know exactly what's going on in phlebitis to get the right treatment. There are many conditions that can look like phlebitis, such as an infection, which is called cellulitis, or deep vein thrombosis, or lipodermatosclerosis, which is an inflammation around the ankles associated with vein reflux disease, and also an impending ulcer. And you'll find a lot of these on our website, phlebitis.co.uk. Phlebitis is a clot in the veins of the legs, but actually in the superficial veins of the legs, not the deep ones. If you get a clot in the deep veins, it's obviously a deep vein thrombosis, which can be serious, particularly if it breaks off and goes to the lungs, called a pulmonary embolism. However, when we talk about phlebitis, we just mean clot in the superficial veins, and hence its real term is not phlebitis, but is superficial venous thrombosis. Once you understand that phlebitis is a clot in the veins causing inflammation, you can understand what it should look like. Really, the vein is usually a tubular structure, so there's almost always a tube or a lump that you can feel. And because it's inflamed, it's usually quite tender when you touch it. And that can be a red patch over the area. So if there's a tubular red lump somewhere on the legs where you'd expect to see a vein and some redness above it, it's likely to be phlebitis. Because phlebitis is an inflammatory problem, the clot causing an inflammation in the vein wall, and there's an area that's hot, red and tender, a lot of doctors and nurses who don't understand veins very well give antibiotics. Of course, they have no effect at all because there's no infection at all associated in phlebitis. Two influential bodies, one British and one American, have both looked at a whole series of research papers that have shown that in some people, if you have extensive phlebitis, phlebitis going right up the vein, it's possible it can extend into the deep veins and cause a deep vein thrombosis. And in a very few people, it can break off and become a pulmonary embolism. So all of a sudden, we have to treat phlebitis with a lot more seriousness. It's now become so important that if anybody ever makes a diagnosis of phlebitis, firstly we have to know that it is phlebitis, and secondly we have to know the extent of it to get the treatment right. There's only one way we can do that easily, and that is using a duplex ultrasound scan. No longer than doctors or nurses just look at a leg and say, that is phlebitis, here's the treatment. What they have to say now is, that looks like phlebitis, we'll get an ultrasound scan so we can know, number one, is it phlebitis, and number two, how extensive it is, and therefore what's the right treatment. A duplex ultrasound scan will show us just what's going on inside the leg. It'll show us whether it is a clot causing the phlebitis or whether there's something else, a deep vein thrombosis or an infection. So it tells us, is the diagnosis correct? Most importantly, it tells us how big the area of phlebitis or the thrombus is and is it getting anywhere near the junction? If it is going through what's called the junction and into the deep veins and there's a risk of a deep vein thrombosis or even a deep vein thrombosis already there, then the treatment is really quite profound. We have to give blood thinning agents like warfarin and anticoagulate the patient. If, on the other hand, the clot is heading towards the, the junction, heading towards the deep veins, but not there yet, then we can probably use heparin, and that's what the guidelines now say. If it's a very small clot and a long way from the deep veins, we can use aspirin or a non steroidal anti-inflammatory agent and, uh, and support stockings. So the take-home message of phlebitis is very simple. You must have a scan performed by an expert, and it must be a venous duplex ultrasound scan. That scan will number one tell you yes it is phlebitis or no it's not and if it is phlebitis it'll then tell you what treatment you need by how extensive it is.